Hey guys, Jeremy here with Simple Little Life, and today is day 10 of the 30 day video challenge. Uh, what we're doing today, and I'm going to make a video on, is that we have a calf, uh, that little white faced brown guy at the back there. Um, she's not taking her bottle like she was before. Uh, even last night, she was drinking really well, and she's kind of lost interest in that, and she doesn't have a good sucking reflex anymore. And she also has really bad diarrhea, so we need to get a lot of electrolytes in her. And without her sucking, the way that you need to do that is to actually tube her, where you take a, it's a special bottle, it's got a long tube on the end, and it's got like a bulbous tip on it so it doesn't hurt them going down. And basically you shove that all the way down their throat and right into their stomach and fill them up with the uh, fluids, electrolytes, and also the milk replacer if you have to, that way. I'll warn you, this video is gonna be a little bit graphic, not graphic graphic but if it would bother you seeing a calf get a tube shoved down its throat you don't want to watch ultimately we're saving this calf's life we're trying to save this calf's life and this is the only way that we can get her the nutrients that she needs so I'll show you how that's done if you have calves or if you're gonna get into calves into farming uh, this might be some good information to know okay so this is the bottle that we're gonna use this is a normal bottle you'd feed them with but this is the one that we will be using and that goes with this. This thread's on the end, and it's got this long tube, and you can see the bulbous point there. Uh, one thing we're trying is we, they say sometimes it helps to put oil on them, and it helps them kind of to suck. And is that coconut oil? Yeah. Yeah, so we've, we've lined this whole thing with coconut oil. Obviously, it'll make it easier to go down, but they say it also kind of sometimes uh, encourages a more of a sucking reflex from the calf. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to stand her up. Uh, it's best if they're standing when you do this just that way there's no risk of uh, flooding her lungs and uh, basically once it goes down with a past her tongue you want to keep it to the left side her left side and what that'll do is it'll help it go down um, the esophagus rather than the trachea and to her lungs so let's do this old girl okay so get her standing up come on old girl she just walked out here so she should be alright. Yeah, you can raise down. There you go. Uh, I like to, sometimes I want to back away from you too, so it's nice to get them into a corner. Uh, it's just easier to contain them that way. So let's come over here, girl. Come on. Okay. A lot hey. easier if you have two people doing this. Open up. Come on. Open up. Open up. Open up. Yeah, there you go. Yep, yep, good girl. So she's sucking it in now, and that'll help get the tube the right direction. Come on. Come on. No. Okay. And you don't want to just force it and jam it down. You want them to kind of help suck and bring it down on their own. be bubbles coming up and like I said very important you don't squeeze on that bottle you just let it flow out as it needs to and this to empty this will probably take about 10 minutes good job and at least this way she's getting nutrients the biggest chance you can give a baby calf is just to make sure it's getting all the nutrients that it needs and a big problem is diarrhea because they get dehydrated and they lose a lot of the nutrients that they're getting from the milk so the electrolytes will help with that and then like i said if we have to we will give her the milk replacer with uh, using the same method and we're almost done okay and then when you go to remove the tube you want to do it in one smooth motion uh, you want to keep it going but you don't want to jerk it out just nice and steady just like that Good job, girl. There you go. Yep, there you go. Good job, girl. Hey, and here she is afterwards. No worse for wear. And she's got some nutrients in her now, so just have to keep monitoring her and hopefully she does okay. We'll see how she takes a bottle in a few hours. 
You think you're gonna get some milk out of a flannel shirt? I would say probably not.